So hello guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we'll talk about Dark Age Facilitator program which many people were asking that make a video related to students only because I have made multiple videos regarding facilitators, how to become a facilitator and get sacks. So if you haven't watched it, I'll link that video also in the description. Make sure to watch it. Now in this video, we'll obviously talk about the Arcade Facilitator program for the students. So let's get started. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and to hide the video. Now coming to the Arcade Facilitator program, it is a no cost pro gaming program where you learn about cloud computing, data application, big data, AI, ML. You earn badges and get some bonus points which you can use to redeem the swags. So if I have to explain the Arcade Facilitator program in simple words, it's for students and it occurs twice a year. Okay, it occurs twice a year. What are benefits of joining? You are learning free of course, data, AI, ML. You are working on Google Cloud live environment okay whatever it is actually you are getting a hands-on training instead of bookish knowledge now here you'll be getting free credits for doing some skill badges labs etc free of cost okay it will be two month event it starts basically from the april month okay our kid will be starting from the first week of january but it first week or second week of january but the arcade facilitator program is a two month program which really start from april and maybe april or may it will be starting. Do not worry, I'll make a dedicated video whenever the event starts. So it was a cohort 2. It started from 4th of August and ended on 13th of October. Now coming to the third point that what we have to do. Here you have to complete some labs and games. For example, these are the arcade games. Okay, if you see the syllabus over here. If I have to show you the syllabus. You can see these are the syllabus. We have to complete the arcade games, skill badges, trivia and lab free courses. So skill badges you must be knowing that it has a challenge lab many of you have completed also. You don't know about the lab free courses. So here lab free courses consist of some documented materials and quizzes. It's very easy. Okay. So like this you have to find it. Don't worry for all the resources I've made a sheet. Also when the event will be live I will update it too. So these are the things you have to complete. When you complete you reach some milestone. Now here milestones are different from the arcade milestone. In arcade milestone, for example, if I have to show you a basic example, don't worry, this point system will definitely be updated. I'm showing you a rough example. So here you can see we are having 18 arcade points from doing these games, skill badges and trivia games. We are getting two bonus points as a for the lab free courses. Okay. These lab free courses are only eligible for points when you register in the arcade program and complete the arcade facilitator program. Okay. So here we have 20 points. So Will we get, if we achieve milestone 1, any swag? So the answer is no. You need to be having the minimum point criteria. For example, even if you have 24 points, 19 points, 10 points, you won't be eligible for the swags. You need to have exactly 25 points for getting the swags. So this is a thing. So if you achieve milestone 1, you need to do 5 more racket points by any means. By skill badges, trivia games, arcade games. Like this, you have to complete now coming to the third point regarding the registration process. What is the registration process? So here uh, for the facilitators, the registrations are already live. But for the students, the registration will be live uh, by April or May. Whenever the event start, do not worry. There will be an enrollment form. Basically, a Google form will be there. For, as of now, there is no registration started. So don't click on any form. Any sh do not share your personal details anywhere. So there you have to just enter your names when the form will be live and enter the referral code which will be shared by me. I'll make a dedicated video for that also whenever the event lies. So stay tuned and do subscribe to the channel. Now coming to the thing that many people are having queries regarding the account creation. So account creation means that they have already completed the arcade program in this cohort too. Now they want to know should we create a fresh account or do we need to use the same account. So you can use the same account if you have not completed any skill badges. I repeat, skill badges and lab free courses. So if you have completed only arcade games, you can surely use that account. But in the arcade facilitator program, sometimes if you have participated in the previous facilitator program, then it may cause some issues because you must have completed lab free courses and skill badges. Then when you will be able to uh, see the syllabus, they will surely update the skill badges and lab free courses. And if they see that you have already earned these badges in 2025, then you won't be eligible to reach the top tier. Okay, so that's why we are recommending create a fresh Gmail, fresh Cloud Skills Boost account. And you can obviously take part from the 1st of January. If you have started in 1st of January also, whenever the event starts of the Arcade program, you can use the same account in the Arcade Facilitator program so that your points are added and you are able to reach the top tier easily. 
you are not allowed to use the same account in previous cohort that is 2025 cohort okay do not use that cohort id so that you are able to get better swags and better opportunities now coming to the next thing lafri courses and skill badges all things will be provided in the channel and arcade facilitator is just a add-on event so if you don't want to take part in the arcade facilitator program or you missed by any chance then do not worry you can participate in the arcade program and win goodies the basic thing and basic confusion which many people are getting the arcade facilitator program is only for the bonus points for students for swags it's for the facilitator for that also i have made a video how to become a facilitator you can just check out the roles and important things you need to take care before becoming a facilitator and many people want to become a student also so for them this video is perfectly now here i have already shared that you need to create a fresh cloud skills boost account and the google account and gmail account now how you have to do if you don't know about the basic criteria okay then you have to simply come to the courses section how to create the account how to make your profile public you need to watch this video all the resources all the videos are linked in the description box of this video you can check it out so you have to create new account in january you can use the same account after there registration process as i said earlier that a form will be released by google team which will listed over here and also i will share do not worry okay i also i will share in my community also in my telegram channel whatsapp group all the things you need to fill that form as soon as it is released so i'll make a dedicated video how to fill the form it's basically you have to enter the referral code which will be shared by me make sure to enter that now after what happens when the facility program ends you will be having two months to complete all the skill badges which are mentioned in the syllabus so this syllabus will be updated for sure so you need to wait for the syllabus to get updated and the event to live this is a sample that you have to complete these mini skill badges okay for ultimate milestone which many people targeted and completed you need to complete these mini arcade games and skill badges during this two month only okay so whenever the january cohort starts do not start doing any skill badges or lap courses or completion badge just do arcade games and trivia games and the two month event will be starting you can start when you are registered and followed all the guide which i shared then you can start doing skill badges so for now stop the skill badges whenever the fresh rocket season will be live i'll make a dedicated video regarding it do not worry now here once you have uh, completed the challenge and the two months expired you'll be getting the email regarding your bonus point for example you earn 25 bonus points or 15 bonus points whatever bonus points you have earned you'll be rewarded and you'll be mailed that congratulations you have earned the points so after that you all the points whatever you have earned in the facilitator program suppose you earn 25 points in the normal arcade program from april uh, sorry from january to april okay and you have earned 25 points including the bonus points okay then both the points will be combined and it will become 50 so it's easier the basic uh, aim of facilitator program is to boost your price side for example you can easily reach from two per tire to champion tire and you have to do some badges and you are easily reached to 75 points as i have explained multiple times in this videos also and previous videos also so like this you have to understand this is the event it's about completing the challenges and the most important thing regarding the challenge is that that you need to just review all the solution guides which i have uploaded in the channel if you face any issue you can just let me in the comment section so this was the pick update regarding the arcade facilitator program actually it opens twice a year the cohort one will be starting in april or maybe may i'll release the form also do not worry here you have to complete the arcade games labs skill badges lovely courses a fresh account fresh email fresh cloud skills post account is recommended to take part in it so that you get maximum points and maximum opportunities so this was the quick update if you want to become a facilitator also i'll link that video also you can become it for becoming a facilitator it is a responsible job you need more students so that you get better rewards so if you have any query you can let me in the comment section and if you have participated in previous cohort make sure to watch some of the videos important videos which i shared yesterday okay so make sure to watch it so that your swags are not cancelled and one more important thing regarding the facilitator program is that whenever you create a new account the gmail account does not matter like you can have akg1220223333 like this gmail but the name should be your general and legal name also if you want to participate with multiple accounts don't do because your swag should be cancelled better participate with one account and if you have more than one people participating in the arcade challenge then do not worry you can surely take part in it for that also i will release a video make sure to watch it so do like the video and subscribe the channel have a great day